Good morning. How's everybody doing today? Hopefully everybody's off to a great productive day. On today's video, we're going to be doing a cheap DIY hydroponic system. All right, y'all. So I went out to Walmart and I picked up some food grade containers that I got for $1.28 a piece. Then I went and got some black spray paint for $2.48. Then I went to Home Depot, I picked up this pool noodle for $2.98, and then I got some miracle Grow for $11.97. So my total cost was $25.03. It would have been cheaper, but it was out of pool noodles because it is winter time. And this right here is some insulation for a pipe, which works the same. Okay, so the only tools you'll need to do this project is a pair of scissors, a two inch hole saw, and a drill. So the first thing you want to do is remove the sticker off of your food grade tote. Next thing you want to do is go ahead and spray paint. And the reason you want to go ahead and spray paint the bottom black is so that no light gets on the roots and have algae start forming. Once you have the entire thing spray painted black, you want to just let it sit and air dry. Okay, so while the bottom is drying, you wanna go ahead and take your drill and go ahead and drill your holes inside of the um, lid. And in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and drill three holes. And the reason we didn't paint, it, paint this is because the lid is a dark color. So once you finish cutting the holes in your lid and your bottom is finished drying, you want to go ahead and wash it out with some warm soapy water. So the next step, you want to go ahead and get your scissors and you want to go ahead and cut the pool noodle. Once you have your pool noodle cut, it should look like this right here. And this is going to go inside of the center here. And the next step we're going to do, we're going to cut another piece of the pool noodle off to insert in the inside of right here. That way it will hold the, um, the seedling that's already sprouted so it doesn't fall down into the um, container. Now I'm gonna take it, pop it loose. Oh, this one I gotta cut. Most of the foam ones have a little slit in it, but this one didn't go all the way through. So I just cut it. And what I'm gonna do is just cut a piece of it off. And what you want it, you want it where to hold the seedling in place, but without squishing it. So now I'm just gonna repeat it two more times for these ones right here. Okay, on this next step, you wanna go ahead and get you a, a old gallon container. This right here is just the old milk jug that we already used the milk. I'm recycling it, using it again. I already filled it up with water. And then you wanna take some um, water soluble uh, fertilizer. And that's what you wanna use. You could use uh, whatever you prefer. This is what was available to me. So that's what I'm going with. And on this um, actual measuring, um, utensil it has for indoor plants and outdoor plants so for indoor plants you want to use the smaller one so i'm gonna go ahead and get my scoop and drop it in there and now i'm gonna go ahead and shake this up and then it'll be ready to pour inside of the container And what you want to do, you want to fill it up to say about right here. You don't want to go all the way to the top because you just want, when the um, seedlings sit in here, you just want the roots to hang out and only want the roots touching the water. That way, as the plant grows and the uh, water and nutrients go down, it um, work together with each other. 
The water will go down, the roots will keep growing down. That way the roots can get water and oxygen. So once we got our solution in there, next thing we wanna do, you wanna go ahead and test the pH. This right here is a water quality meter. And I um, had this a while back. I forgot to add this in the price of doing this. Um, but if I remember, I'll put a link in the description where you can find one of these and they're not that expensive. But um, you wanna go ahead and test the pH to see if the levels are where they need to be. All right, y'all, since we got the pH balance and got the container all done, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and grab some herbs that I already started from seed. And I'm gonna go ahead and take the middle part of the um, pool noodle out which is gonna be the part that's gonna hold the, um, the plant. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna carefully remove the um, plant from the soil, trying not to mess up any of the roots. Okay, so once I have it removed, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it and gently place it inside the inside, just like so. And then what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and take it and set it down inside the center of the ring of the pool noodle. And then we'll take that and we'll set it down into our um, solution. All right, y'all, and there you have it. Once it's done and completed, it should look like this right here. Now the next thing you need to do is if you have a window facing south, you can put it in front of the window so it can get some natural sunlight. Or like in my case, you could put it up under some grow lights. I have my grow lights set on a timer where it would come on for 12 hours and then they will automatically go off. So here's how the plants are looking after three days. And for $25.03, I was able to make five containers. Um, if you're interested in seeing how the plants turn out, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss none of my future videos. And as always, thank y'all for watching.